hello guys welcome back to this channel hope you are cool in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to install phones into your pixel lab or how to get phones into your pixel lab in my previous video on how to use pixel lab i showed us that when you are new to pixel lab and clean on this font icon on this font too you have basic fonts that your pixel lab came with but going to my fonts when you're new to pixel lab when you just download the app here will be empty there will be no fonts here every font you can see here are the ones i personally downloaded by myself that's why you can see a delete icon beside it i can easily delete them okay so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how i got to download these fonts and to bring them and how i brought them into pixel lab okay now let's get into the video Okay, all right guys the first thing we need to do the first app we need for this is z achiever z achiever is this one you can see here in green z achiever this is z achiever okay this is the first app we need then let's first of all get online then i'll show you guys what we need the app for now there are many sites you can download fonts from there are many sites if you know the name of the fonts you want to download that's very perfect you can just go ahead you can just go straight ahead on, and type the name of the font you want to download and that download it immediately but if you don't know the font you want to download you just want to download random fonts or you just want to go through the fonts they have we have different sites we have the fonts.com we have google fonts we have different sites you can download fonts okay so we'll just be using one of the sites in this tutorial video now let's go to the fonts.com let's just type the fonts the fonts.com Okay, and this is this is the fonts.com. Okay, you can see different fonts here. Now, when you zoom ahead, you can see different layers or different types of fonts. We have cartoon, comic, groove, Chinese, Japan medieval, sans serif. Okay, so if you you can click on any of them and you can be able to see different fonts that fall under it. Okay, and down this one, this is a two bar. This um search bar, I mean. You can if you know the name of the fonts you can easily just type in the fonts you want and click on search and if the font is in this website definitely the font is gonna be here and you download now how do you get to download you just always do some downloads maybe with two or three okay and i'll show you guys how to import it into your pixel app now on this damburi caps let's download it okay now you can see in the your right this download on top of donate to auto okay and another thing you can also see you can see two font files these two font files try to explain that we have when you download this font and you bring it to your pixel lab you're going to see two in it okay now the one following it is six font files that means if you are to download this app this sorry this um font you're going to see six font files in it it's going to be six okay now the, if you want to download just click tap on the download button and it downloads okay now let's just do two more and we're good to go now all right so now having downloaded them now let's go to our pixel lab and let's go to our z achiever first then we'll go to our pixel lab and see how far we have done okay now but before i get into our z achiever there's one thing i want to explain here what i want to explain here is that anything you download as uh, anytime you download the fonts it always comes in the in a format called zip always comes in a format called zip okay you can see it from my screen pepernotes.zip that means this file is zipped you cannot use it like that okay that's what we need z achiever z achiever is one of the apps you can use to unzip files you get you can use it on zip files okay it's not the only app there are many apps out there but z achiever is one of the apps you can use to do it okay so when you take these fonts to z achiever you unzip them and you move them to where it can be used okay so that's what i'm going to be doing right now so i'm going to get getting it right into the z achiever app now since i downloaded these fonts i'm going to go to my downloads but if this font was sent to me by someone through any of the means maybe through zender through whatsapp if it was through zender i'm gonna go to zender if it was through whatsapp i'm going to go through whatsapp any means i got the file i'm going to go to that means or to the folder and once i get the um file then 
I'm almost at the end of what I want to do. Okay. Now another thing also is that when you download this Zia Chiba app, now everything in your phone comes out here. Every folder in your phone comes out here. But sometimes you might not have this folder called fonts. This folder called fonts, you might not have it. Now what happens when you don't have it? What happens when you don't have it is that you can just easily it's create, how do you create, create it? it by clicking on these three dots. You can see create. Then clicking on create, you see new folder. Now when you click on new folder, you can just wipe up this new folder and type in the name of the font. You can just save it with fonts and you are good to go. Now the reason why we need this folder fonts is very important because everything will be unzipping, every font will be unzipping. You are going to be bringing it into this folder called fonts. Okay, that's only how it will show in our pixel app. Okay, even if you unzip it in your downloads on your WhatsApp or your Zender, it will never show in your Pixel app until you bring it to your folder of code fonts. Okay, so that's why this folder is very important. Some sometimes if you download this app, you the folder is already there, but if it is not there, you can actually create the folder by yourself. Okay, now so let's go into downloads and check up for the fonts we downloaded. Now one of the, the names of the fonts we download one is Pepper Notes. Okay, so you can scroll down. Can scroll down pepper notes all right pepper notes so you can see pepper notes here now you can see this um something in brown beside it looking like something zit so that's to show you that this file is actually zit okay you cannot use it like that so what are we gonna do we're going to the first thing we're going to do now is to i'm going to long press long press the reason for long pressing is i want to copy it i want to copy the file okay i want to copy the file so i'll long press it then these things will come out i'll copy it now once i copy it looking at this green to by your left sorry by your right you see that it actually changed it was plus before but now it's now like this this shows that you have copied it now if you want to move out of this app you move up you click on these two dots it takes you back to every place the folder is then you get your fonts this font and folder you just download or you just created or the one that is already there just click on it what do you want to do you just tap on this green icon so that the file be pasted okay now when you've pasted this file you can just search for the file paper notes and this is the file you've pasted it here and what do you want to do you unzip it here okay now when, once you unzip it here and you go back to your pixel app you see this font okay so let's unzip it how do you unzip you unzip by just tapping the first time to copy you long pressed but to unzip you just tap so you just tap and you see extract here you click on extract here and it unzips remember i told you guys that it had about um okay this paper note had six so you can count it one two three four five six okay it's even even more than that self. so we find that this one has a lot of fonts inside it okay so now we have unzipped this file and let's do the same thing to the other one we also downloaded so that we can now go back to our pizza lab to see our efforts so far okay so if i want to go back to our folders i'll just click on these two dots on the top okay i can go back to download then i can search for the other fonts that was Dambui.caps Dambui so on D Dambui so Dambui see it here so what I do the first thing to do is to long press when I long press I'll copy I'll move up to the two dots pressing there I'll leave the, this place then I'll get to my fonts I'll press on this green and it's paste now I'll look for it and this is it yeah? so what do I then do I just tap on it and extract here okay when something like this comes out shows up what you just do click on apply to all files and click on replace and it's done now you can see that this Dambui has two fonts in it it has two fonts in it okay so this is actually is very easy this is how to do this now let's go back to our page lab and to check for these fonts we just put there okay and this is our pizza lab now this is our font now let's go back to font right so this is our fonts 
Um, remember the name of what we search. We can just type for the name Damburi. Now you can see Damburi is two, and we can check for pepper notes. So pepper notes is six here. Okay, so this is exactly how you can install fonts or you can import fonts from anywhere and bring it to pixel lab like you might see a beautiful design you can ask the, the designer what's the name of this font and when the person tells you this is the font i used you can just easily go online search for the fonts and bring them to pixel lab through this means okay now i've showed you how to download through a site i'm also going to show you now how to download through maybe knowing the name of a, of a font what how i'm going to do it now let's um go and type a name of a font we know now let's type something like montserrat montserrat okay now you can see montserrat font you can just type on it his name of a font now these are different websites that have this montserrat now let's just go to google fonts google fonts all right typing on google fonts Okay, so this is the different styles of Montessorat we have. So if you want to download them, what do you do? If you want to download them, what do you do? You just have to follow the process. Select this style, you tap on it, select, tap on it, select, tap on it. But if you don't want to go through the stress of selecting everything, you can just tap, you can just tap on this place. You can just go down, download all. Once it's, it's, you see here, once you download, the file is downloaded and what do you do next? You get your, your Z Archiver and you repeat the same process. Repeat the same process of long pressing, copying, going to your fonts, pasting it there, tap on it, extract it and you are good to go. I hope you got value from this tutorial. Remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and if you are subscribed, go through our videos and watch them. And we'll see you next in our next video. Thank you.